back at Tottenham again. Uh, I was having a look at Google Maps this morning. I usually use the OS map, but I was having a look at Google Maps. And it showed me something that doesn't appear on the OS map. And that's a spring. You know I like springs. And you know I like Tottenham. It turns out there's actually a spring just down there a little way where we are here this is at Sewell Cutting it's an old disused railway cutting just behind me which kind of delineates the northern edge of this whole little little stomping ground um, in there just over the top of those cliffs that you can see we're very low down here the hills are all off in that direction but we're so low down you can't actually see beyond the beyond the cliffs over there we've got Tottenham Castle over in that direction behind there is the uh, the post-apocalyptic nature reserve slightly in that direction you've got Maiden Bower the old um, causeway enclosure where we've not been yet I'm gonna take you there sooner or later and all the uh, oh Hunger Hill, of course, Hunger Hill, or 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 what isn't Hunger Hill anymore? That's over there. You've got all the buried gangsters. You've got the mysterious objects, which I'm going to have to try and find out about soon. Um, and down here, I was very pleased to discover that there's a spring. So I'm going to. I don't know if we're going to find it. If I don't find it, this is going to be a proper waste of time. But anyway, we'll go along a little way. Um, it's kind of between this public footpath and just running along behind the back of there is the, the railway cutting, which we'll stop and have a quick look at at, at some point. Um, so I'm going to go down there. I know roughly how far I've got to go. Bear in mind I don't have GPS or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to see what I find. It's off to the right between the footpath and the cutting onward. frequently hear, uh, hear cuckoos down here, not quite this early in the year, but still early in the year, not too far from now. Um, I used to come over here on my, come over here on my bike in the evenings, uh, and you'd hear them <coughs> roughly in this sort of area. I'd be standing up there at the top of the cliffs. And you'd hear the cuckoo down here in the woods. You right there, Twinkle? Right, let's see if we can find that spring. The motocross boys have been having a good time down here by the looks of it. They've got some decent landscape for it. I mean, they shouldn't do it. And uh, I kind of wish they wouldn't. But I do understand why they do. Perfect little setup for it here. And if you look just over this way, I saw some tracks which had clearly been made by a, a four wheel drive rather than a motorbike. And you're trying to get a four wheel drive through there. <laughs> They've been doing it. Huh. I say I know roughly where I'm going. Problem is, on the map, I was looking at the open fields to my left and here I am walking through the woods because it's a lot nicer. So I'm not going to be able to say, oh, hello. Damn it, I've not got my torch in my pocket, have I? Ah, yeah, I've got my little keyring one. Ah, my little phoenix. What's going on in here? That's not making a lot of difference in this daylight. Is that, I don't know what that was for. If anybody knows the first thing about old railway cuttings, tell me what that might be. Twinkle? <laughs> Twinkle? I think I just 
just saw some red eyes. Oh no, it's just Twinkle. Come on, good girl, come on. Let's find that spring. You can see the similarities between here and um, the post-apocalyptic nature reserve. Looks like more old, I don't know. Well, I mean, where we are here, it's a very obvious sunken trackway. And this brickwork looks a lot like sidings for loading and unloading. Same as you've got just up there in the nature reserve. Well, actually, it's good seeing this because it, um, sorry Twinkle, it, uh, it gives me an idea of what's going on over there where I can't see, which is what I was kind of depending on to find the spring. So it's given me a good idea of roughly where I am. Oh, I love it. This is really post-apocalyptic, isn't it? Yep. Lovely. This is all actually just reminding me. Um, I found a photograph in a book I've got, which shows the exact point where, if you remember the mysterious Tottenham Quarry video that I did, where I sat down and told you about the mysterious object that was found and dug up and hurried off in the dead of night. Um, that point where I sat down on that old um, platform, I found a photograph of that exact spot which shows the lime kilns in the background. So uh, I will stick that in. I'll shove that on at the end of the video. It's great seeing that. Surely that's got to be some sort of little, what we're walking along here. It must be some sort of little branch line for the, uh, for the old kilns and the quarry to connect them up to what was once the main line. It's looking pretty obvious. I think we might have found our off-roaders. Hurrying on. You may just see a muddy puddle but I think I'm beginning to see a temporary waterway along here. More of it there, more of it there. Down in this, it's not a dug ditch. It's just a natural depression and it's all looking very soggy. So I think we might be on the right track. It's got to be around here somewhere. I know I'm in the right area now. What a stroke of luck that was. Our friends over there, the off-roaders, have pointed me in the right direction. And what we were looking at back there, that's a bit more of a sort of an overspill, if you know what I mean, from when the spring itself starts throwing a bit too much water out. I'm told if we head along here towards the trees, we should find the spring. Okay, I think we found it. You can see the ground sloping off there into those trees. And Twinkle went darting down there. Are you going to show me something, Twinkle? Have you found it? Let's have a look. This is looking very promising. I think we've got our spring. Yeah, there's the water. Crystal clear by the looks of it. Uh, which way? That way. Oh. 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 People have been here doing stuff. And there's 
the remains of a car. <laughs> what is that? It's only a small car, maybe an old Austin Mini or something. How long's that been there? Jesus Christ. You don't get tyres that shape anymore, do you? Yeah, I can see the anti-roll bar. I can see the steering rack. Yeah, wishbone there. I don't know what that was. Jesus Christ, it's been there a long time. Anyway, enough of the car, back to the spring. Oh, we're getting too old for, uh, you're getting too old for this, aren't you, Twinkle? <coughs> right. Ah, oh, it's lovely, it's crystal clear. Bubbling away. That's a proper chalk stream. And I'll bet it's warm. Go on, Twinkle, let me past. Good girl. I say warm, you know what I mean? Not freezing, not icy cold. Because it's been underground and it's only just come out. Yeah. That's lovely, that. And this bit of wood. Bit of life on it. Got the pattern on that where it's rotted, eroded, whatever. Nice. Yeah, so the spring's just coming out from under all this ivy. And I never knew this was here. Just from looking at, uh, having a look at Google Maps instead of the OS map. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? You, you would have thought that Google Maps would be a bit, a bit rubbish and the OS map shows everything you need. It doesn't seem to be the case, because I'd never have found this if I hadn't looked at that. Beautiful, absolutely lovely. Right, well, um, it goes off in the direction of the old railway cutting. So I think me and Twinkle will see if we can follow it down to the railway cutting and we'll walk back via there. I'm glad somebody's put these little steps in. Somebody obviously cares about this place. On she flows. I can't get over it. I cannot believe I didn't know this was here. God, having to scramble through a bit of undergrowth to follow this. <laughs> this must have been a sacred site. Considering where it is and that it's a spring, it was sitting right at the foot of Tottenham Castle, within easy reach of Maiden Bower, the old Neolithic, well, Mesolithic even, um, causeway enclosure over there. This would have been their closest source of water. This must have been a sacred site of some sort. Right, come on Twinkle, let's carry on through these bushes, shall we? Come on, it's hard work. Oi, come on. And here's another one. Another little spring, just next to the main one. Well, just a little bit downstream from the main one. Comes down. Ugh. Comes down and joins it. go. Bit muddier that one. Less of a chalk spring. <laughs> More of a big puddle. Oh, it's flowing nicely there. Even that little one. It's putting a fair bit of water out. It comes down here and joins the main one. And actually just the other side of that fence it looks like it really widens out a bit. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, I'm going to keep following it. I think actually that bank there might be the railway, the old railway cutting. Well, not cutting, the big bank next to the cutting. And that might be where we have to say goodbye to it. Let's see. Yeah, now this is where it disappears underground. And I'm guessing it comes out the other side of the A505. But that's where we say goodbye to Tottenham Spring for now. Very glad to have made your acquaintance. Okay, now we need to go up there and we'll take the high road back. That's going to be an easier walk back. It was all getting a bit jungle down there. Slowberries. Uh, what's it called? Blackthorn. Just coming into flower. And they're absolutely everywhere around here. You get tons of them. I've still got loads in the freezer from a couple of years ago. Good in gin, good in vodka. I make them for people for Christmas. This is a... Uh, turd tree uh, increasingly common in the UK right. you're gonna have to go back on your lead soon twinkle there's the castle just off up there Where do you think you were off to? Up on top of the railway track here, I can actually see where it's reappeared on the other side. So it doesn't stay underground all the way to the road, which is off in that direction. It does come back out and it runs along the side here, look. So uh, we might get one more close-up glimpse of it before we get back to the car. Just lost track of it a little bit back there. Um, as we got towards this point where we've left the upper track, you know you're in Tottenham. See you later. Just come down from the track there. I've got a feeling if we walk down this way, we might just uh, we might just be able to pick it up before we leave. Okay, there it is down there. Private property, people mowing. Time to go. There's the old lime kilns which is exactly the same spot as I sat for that video. Fascinating, eh?